Now we come to the <coughs> ferromagnetic material. So we have done this, we are now doing this. Ferromagnetism implies implies that this is a this is the material this is the material in ferromagnetism also the same thing as the as the paramagnetism happens and what happens there in paramagnetism the tendency is to align all of them get aligned in the same direction <coughs> here here the direction of the alignment of all becomes the same and 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 a lot more dipoles than in paramagnetic material they align in the same direction the mechanism by which that happens is quantum mechanical but it can be seen if you put some fluorescent material and see it in in darkness by a fluorescent light it, you can actually see that things are turning in in presence of that material right <coughs> So, so it is it is said that there is a domain kind of structure that exists and it is this domain which actually starts aligning okay it is this domain that starts aligning okay So something like that and when there is no magnetic field they are sort of sort of fine so they are irregularly shaped okay and the size of each of them is is okay so they are they are random and the and inside that the the net the net dipole moment remains zero for every domain or for the whole material no for the whole material for each domain they have some value Okay. So it is something like that. When no magnetic field is applied, the moment it comes in the influence of the magnetic field, all of them one by one, fine. When one is turning, the others do not. Then, then the others. Then, then the next. So all of them turn in the same direction. Again, uh, it's the same. Okay, the the domains their size does not change. Okay, though it's very difficult to make an identical thing. You understand that was also purely randomly made. So, but but you think that it is the same. Okay. fine so something like that and in the influence of magnetic field all of them more or less get aligned in the same direction Okay. So there are domains in they have uh, written about the size of the domain. There are domains in in the 
Hmm? About an mm. The domains. About um, mm square. Yeah, it's visible also. You can see it turning. <laughs> if you put that uh, uh, a liquid with the uh, with magnetic, oh, then you can actually see that. Uh, <coughs> with the, how many atoms? Ten to the power eleven mm. atoms, which have their dipoles. Pointed in one direction. Okay, in the absence of the field, in the absence of the field, they are randomly oriented. They are randomly oriented and sum to zero their net magnetic moment sums to zero okay now what happens now what happens when you apply the magnetic field, when we apply the magnetic field, so on application of the magnetic field, on application of the magnetic field, the magnetic moments of individual domains individual domains start turning one by one one and a line in the direction of the <coughs> magnetic field. Okay. Now what happens due to that? It it generates a a tremendous amount of magnetic field of its own. tremendously high <coughs> becomes tremendously high okay so much so that yeah huh? internal structure of all the para ferro are different yeah <coughs> the domain kind of thing does not happen in any other and if it would have then they would have been behaving like this right so <coughs> So that's why you have the the chi very very greater than one, and mu r is also very very larger than one, of the order of three thousand. You understand? So so the field inside <coughs> is three thousand times the field outside. Okay, that is something that is wonderful. Okay, it is of the order of three thousand. Fine.
okay now that that will be clear when we do the bh curve also what happens if we remove it what happens if we remove the external magnetic field does our does our alignment remain the same or it springs back huh that depends okay there are hard ferromagnets where it remains the same or or just misaligns a little and there are soft ferromagnets where where it springs back so maybe you see um, so so how does it behave first of all how does it behave i have a i have a ferromagnetic material there's a magnetic field there's a magnetic field maybe like that so what happens inside the inside the ferromagnet the field becomes tremendously high you see okay so it becomes tremendously high even though outside it may be smaller so they crowd like anything and here the net field is the net field is in the same direction as your as your red one so what happens they are supporting so so this becomes your south pole this becomes your north pole this is your north this is your south so what happens it gets attracted a uh, ferromagnetic material a uh, ferromagnetic material gets attracted strongly in a magnetic field you know magnetic field <coughs> in a magnetic field fine so it strongly gets attracted in a magnetic field and and fine so so becomes very very large it becomes very very high right so and on removal of the field the domain structures may remain as such getting only slightly getting only slightly slightly deranged okay this is called such materials are called hard ferromagnets hard ferromagnets now you understand if you want to actually make a permanent magnet you will choose a hard or a soft which kind of ferromagnet will you choose hard, hard. okay now if it if the alignment is completely disturbed and the uh, and the material remains magnetized right so it remains a magnet it remains a magnet in hard ferromagnets is it not if if it is all aligned like that this is gone still it has this field no the green field still remains on removal what deranged slightly uh, it's not that it it is completely like that as it was in the in 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 the, in the presence of a magnetic field slightly some some maybe some wavering actually happens okay uh, so it will come back to it so it will form after some point of time no no never that depends that again depends on their <laughs> on their coercivity you'll understand gradually that depends on the coercivity if the alignment is completely disturbed and the material gets completely demagnetized and the material gets completely demagnetized completely demagnetized we call it 
इट इज कॉल्ड अ सॉफ्ट फेरो मैग्नेट अ सॉफ्ट फेरो मैग्नेट सॉफ्ट ओके सॉफ्ट फेरो मैग्नेट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट अ लॉट मोर वेन वी डू द बी एच कर्व ओके फाइन ओके okay.